all of the great things that we see around us, goods and services, new products, existing products, you know, infrastructure, uh, all of the things that we take for granted that make for a healthy and happy and productive life. I mean, all of those are the re result of somebody's vision, somebody's experiment, somebody's willingness to take a chance, to take some inputs and try to put, you know, try to mix them together and get some output, to add their labor and so on. Now, of course, uh, the innovations and products and activities that we see around us that are that that have sort of persisted uh, that we widely consume those are the successful ones but we sometimes forget you know there are lots of unsuccessful ones uh, that we have now forgotten about and it's only because of the heroic efforts of those entrepreneurs both those who succeeded and those who tried but weren't successful that we have all of this stuff and I think the most important thing that one of the most important things we can teach in school is that, you know, even even to people who are not sort of interested in, in playing that role themselves directly, that without other people doing that, without the movers and shakers, without the builders and the dreamers and so on, you know, we wouldn't have the things that we have today. Therefore, it's critically important that we not put obstacles in their way, like regulations and parts of the tax code and the legal system that make it harder for people to to uh, try to do new things, to try to succeed or not to succeed, um, you know, bailing out those who are not successful, um, putting barriers in the in the path of those who want to be successful. You know, those are things, government policies and other kinds of actions that uh, make it harder for entrepreneurs to do what they do. So um, you know, now, just as in all times in human history, it's vital that we let that entrepreneurial spark kind of come out and we need to allow for an environment where people can do that. And so most of your listeners are familiar with sort of free market economic policies. And the reason that they're so important is not just because uh, they seem fair and because you know, we like them and they're transparent and so on, but because without them, you don't have entrepreneurship. You don't have successful entrepreneurship. You know, and then where would we be today?